One of the things that's happened recently, of course, is the change in Saudi Arabia, uh, with uh, Mohammed bin Salman taking over. He seems to be a whole new creature, if I can put it that way. And part of maybe a broader thing that we'll talk about, which is the emergence of these very strong men, generally men, leaders around the world. What do you make of him and the impact that he might have on, on the Middle East? He, um, well, he is having a major impact in many respects, many different ways. So within Saudi Arabia, he is leading a push towards greater social uh, liberalization. But at the same time, he has and is behaved and behaving like a, um, a medieval monarch. Uh, Saudi Arabia is, is a medieval country. It's, it's important to understand that. And you know, can't judge it by any um, Western standards because they're, they're just not relevant. So if you know your history in Britain, France, and so on, you know, medieval British history with King Henry's and John and Richard and uh, you know, all the stuff. So you had a king who was uh, sometimes stronger, sometimes weaker, and you had barons and lords and so on around the country, and each of these guys really ran their own fief in the medieval system. And the king would try to get uh, um, taxes in terms of money, in terms of produce, and uh, if he needed to go to war, then he would say, you know, you've got to supply so many men, in, and you, right? So it wasn't the king ran the whole country, it was very much um, de decentralized. Uh, and if you apply that model to Saudi Arabia, you have some understanding of what's going on. Right? He, even though he is the king, uh, uh, he has difficulty imposing his ideas on the entire royal family, which is a very large and complex um, um, group of people. Uh, and beyond that, there are many, there are tribes, and these tribal units together comprise the Saudi army and the armed forces. Um, and there are business entities, business groups. Uh, one of the most famous is the Bin Laden family, who yeah, they're pretty famous. Came, came, to right prominence, <laughs> came to prominence because one of them decided not to pursue a business career but went in a different direction. But they are very big, uh, um, commercially oriented family, right? Mm. Nothing to do with uh, terrorism aspect. So Saudi Arabia is a very complex place, and he is trying to wrench it out of where it was, socially and particularly economically, reliance on oil and so on, and force it in a different direction. And that is very difficult to do in a very conservative country. And, um, and he's doing this whilst being, whilst being engaged in what is a, a very deep-seated uh, um, struggle against Iran and Shiite uh, Islam. Um, and he's doing it with the American defense umbrella kind of fading away. And so he has enormous problems, um, apart from those stemming from the fact that he's young and immature and so on. He has objective problems.